Hey, hi, and hello. It is day one of reserve, and I have a trip. Let's go on a trip, shall we? Um, my name is Martha, and I am a flight attendant, and I am going on a trip today. And if you want to come, stick around because we're gonna do it. we're gonna do the thing. <laughs> something with you you know on my last video I was saying I was getting a little bored of my meals so I spent a little cash and I did the factor meals so I have not um, have yet to try I had one um, here at home it was pretty good and uh, this one that I'm trying to, is uh, southwestern chicken mac um, this comes from the I don't know. <laughs> I think I got most of them from the protein plus section, but I'm not really sure which one's which. Um, and then the other one I'm bringing is a creamy dill shrimp pasta. Mm -hmm. And then also this uh, keto cinnamon granola, which sounds fabulous. Um, so I'm packing up my lunch and uh, here we go. So I don't have to put two or three of these big containers in my bag. I am going to um, pour this granola into a zippy bag. Mmm, smells good. So granola is in the baggie now. Saves a little space. And then I'm gonna take these out. I think I know how to microwave things. That's all the papers. These are frozen. They don't come frozen. Um, I did freeze them, obviously. Um, so they'll probably be pretty hot out by the time I decide I'm ready to eat them. I'll eat uh, one tonight when I get to the hotel, and then one tomorrow when I get to the hotel. And uh, yeah, so mac and cheeses for on the phone in case I'm desperate. And baby bell cheese. Um, two yogurts, in case I want to have, I can only just do one mac and cheese, because, well, space is a thing in here. And I do not want to get a bigger lunchbox, so if that's what you're thinking, think again. Here's a treat. I did not get the um, Trader Joe's ones because I didn't want, my husband was getting stuff for me and I obviously did not want to make him traipse around to a million different stores. So I have salad makings, I have some lettuce, olives, and garbanzo beans or chickpeas depending on where you're from. And um, I'm going to, I just have a little bit of this dressing left so I'm going to put it in a bottle and add some um, just add some oil and vinegar to it to kind of beef it up a little. I'm going to I put my lettuce in this zip bag so that once I open it, it'll say lush. And then uh, this can just go straight in. Great. So garbanzos and olives. I should figure out how to put this one in here. Oh, I also um, made, I mean, I brought freeze-dried strawberries because I made some uh, macarons that had a strawberry frosting. So I use those to round up in there. It's quite delicious, I must say. I only have one granola bar enough, so I'm going to throw that guy in there. And then um, also I needed some coffee pods, so I'm going to throw them in there. All right. Hey friends, I am at the airport. And I decided to ride the shuttle today because uh, my foot is hurting. Uh, yeah, just randomly, last night my foot started hurting. 
in the middle, like right in the center of my foot. Um, so where are my over 50s at? Why is it that every, seems like every day there's like some random pain I have now? I'm not a fan, I'm not a fan of this scenario. So anyway, uh, shuttle is on its way and I have about 15 minutes till I have to check in, so perfect timing. Leg one, we are headed to Sacramento and we are working in an 800, which means all three flight attendants have to be back here for service, the B, the C, and the D. It's a little cramped, a little annoying, I'm not gonna lie. Um, and we are only in the air for an hour, five minutes, so I'm setting up a few things and I'm gonna show you what I'm setting up. done and dusted and we did not serve because it was very turbulent all the way here and it looks like we won't be serving again we're going to Palm Springs next and uh, just so you know like if you ever get the announcement that um, the flight attendants have been told to stay seated and then it doesn't seem like it's bouncy um, what doesn't seem like bouncy to you could be completely different in different parts of the aircraft like especially on our aircraft this back end is always super bumpy um, so whatever you feel in the middle is usually a, just a fraction of what we feel and um, you're sitting and uh, so if we're up and around even if it's just a little bit it could suddenly change and uh, so it's just for our safety and um, you will get your eight ounce cup of soda at some point in another flight <laughs> anyway okay gotta go hello friends um, it's 11.08 here in uh, Spokane, and we have to lobby at 10.30, so very short overnight. So I um, I got my food ready, and I'm going to show it to you because I'm doing the factor meals, and uh, this is probably the healthiest I've ever eaten on an over. <laughs> well, that's probably not true, but I'm just saying, like, normally I don't eat, like, real veggies like I'll have a salad or something but I'm not a big veggie fan um, but anyway I'm gonna show it to you so here we go so we got the shrimp and pasta and there's like a white sauce and some garlic and then a cauliflower broccoli and then, I mean, it wouldn't be a complete meal without the double tree cookie. Dun, dun, dun. And look at this super groovy fork I got. Um, my husband got me a little cutlery set, travel cutlery set, and this is the fork. Isn't he cute? Okay, my friends, first bites. It could be hotter. It was boiling when I got up here, but it took me a while to get ready. Look at those noodles. Mm. All right, good night. All right, guys, it's 8.30. I'm gonna tell you something. After a 10 and a half hour a day, 12 hours is not enough. I'm tired. I'm gonna make some coffee. I'm gonna tell you about my coffee maker, but I'm gonna do that tomorrow. 
Hi guys, so our whole day today is scheduled on a 700. Unfortunately, we have two plane changes, so we just flew one leg, Spokane to Sacramento, and now we're going to Long Beach and we have a plane change there, and then we go to Phoenix and apparently we have another plane change. I don't know why, we used to be on the same plane and then they switched it around. But anyway, this is the galley that the 700 has, is what it looks like, and um, two people have to work back here during service, and it is just a little bit, old and janky um, but they are making new max sevens that are three flight attendants two only work in the back and the galley supposedly looks more like a max eight galley so i don't know what that's going to look like i'm very excited um, and it's also going to seat 150 people so um, i don't know if you guys know the rules but um, faa requires one flight attendant per every 50 people so that means with 150 we can still just have three flight attendants so anyway, um, I'm gonna go do some work now and I'll see you later. Hey guys, uh, we are getting ready to board for leg number three today. Plane change in Long Beach and uh, we're going to Phoenix now. And um, I don't know if you guys know this because um, I don't know of anywhere else they do it other than in California, so correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but we board from the front and the back in some area, in some airports. Um, one is Burbank, another one is Long Beach. Uh, I think occasionally they do it in Sacramento some some gates but um yeah so today we're boarding from the front and the back and deploying in long beach so fun little fact i thought i'd show you guys one other little fun thing in the bathroom now this is only one type of aircraft <laughs> every seems like every airplane we have is a little bit different but we do have some supplies on board for the ladies for their time of the month and uh, sometimes they are tucked away and hidden in secret little compartments. So I'm going to show you on this aircraft where they are. So over here, so here's the toilet, and right up to the right, there's this little secret door. And Lady, uh, how are we good? And tampons. And Kleenex. Also. And throw up bags thing I wanted to show you. So um, we have to check all the equipment, obviously, make sure that all of our um, oxygen bottles are filled and, you know, all the things. And uh, I just want to show you this one oxygen bottle is tucked behind seats and it's really hard to check the um, pressure levels. So we have this groovy little thing where it is on a little slide out thing. You unhook the latches and then you slide it out. Now we can look at the... Hey guys, okay. uh, we're getting ready to board. Um, God, my hair is just... I'm going... I'm getting my hair done tomorrow. Free boarding. So very excited. It is time, but um, I was hoping we would be on a max today because I wanted to show you the difference of the galley because the other day we were supposed to be on a max and then we weren't and then I forgot when we were. So anyway, um, I know you've seen it before, but I wanted to give you kind of like galley comparisons. Um, but anyway, we're back on a 800 with this crazy galley. We call this the wall of death because if one of those bins is accidentally not latched, um, it can create havoc and I know this for a fact because I have a friend who got gashed across her forehead because one of these bins was not latched. Mm. Not good. Um, anyway, so we're heading home. We're going to go to San Jose and then uh, down to LA. Um, it's going to be interesting because the weather is still crazy in California. So, um, but I didn't did nothing, did nothing today in the hotel except for I worked on my recurrent training modules, which I have recurrent training in a week. So it's about time I get busy. <laughs> I think I have four to go. But uh, anyway, so that's what I did. I was super lazy and I am not ashamed to say it. All right, um, so anyway, I think this is it for this trip. I'm gonna wrap it up unless anything crazy happens while we're flying. I'll check back in when I get to the airport. Otherwise, I'm gonna say goodbye. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Please give a like um, and if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? It's time. And um, share it with someone who might be interested, who's thinking about being a flight attendant, interested in airplanes, um, or just wants to listen to me ramble. All right. I am uh, so thankful for all of you and I hope you have a great day. Bye.